Good day, sir. It is Monday. And we're having a short show today. Only like an hour or so. Uh, simply because I'm, I'm catching a break in the mayhem that is happening today. As you all know, on Saturday they were working on my roof. And they're back again today. I think they're taking their lunch break. So I'm trying to sneak a show in. Uh, just to kind of, you know, because last time the noise was just, it was unbearable. I, I Obviously you all saw me trying to keep it going. But yeah, the noise was, it was driving me absolutely insane. It's hard for me to be able to, to focus on doing the show while having the constant beating and hammering going on in the background. So uh, like I said, I'm trying to sneak a show in. Hello everybody, Oliver, Aaron, and Mystery Apple. <laughs> oh, that's right. I remember you now. I was like, Mystery Apple. That's right. I remember you. But yeah, we're here. Uh, I got some more product in. Uh, you saw the picture there uh, uh, during the intro. Um, I posted it in uh, in Discord as well. But what happened with that Shining Fates, pretty interesting. I ordered a Mimikyu box for, um, uh, you know, to open. So I could do an opening on the, uh, you know, for a video and stuff. Uh, unfortunately, he forgot, the seller forgot to send me the Mimikyu box and he accidentally sold it. He has a physical store. He has a real, you know, a physical storefront, brick and mortar and all. And he forgot to pull it off of his shelf so that he could send it to me and he sold it. So he, I was like, hey, you know, I still haven't gotten this, uh, this Mimikyu box. What's going on? He's like, oh, I'm sorry, man. I accidentally sold it here in my store. He's like, how do you, how do you want to work that out? He's like, do you want to see if I got another Mimikyu box or do you want something else? And I'm like, just, you know, I know you'll take care of me. Just, just hook, hook me up with what you got. And he's like, all right, thanks, man. Thanks for understanding. I'll hook you up with something decent. I'm like, all right, cool. So a week goes by. I just got the package today. And it was the, the uh, Galarian Mr. Mime or Mr. Rhyme. What was it? I can't even remember. Where's my... I think it's Mr. <laughs> yeah, the Mad Party Galarian Mr. Rhyme set. The pin set. It came with three Shining Fates boosters, the card, and the little pin, which is nice. So... He did hook me up because it's definitely better than what I ordered. They're about, they, technically they retail for the same price, but obviously the Shining Fate stuff is much harder to come by right now. So he hooked me up. So I'm like, that's cool. And I still have another package coming from probably tomorrow or the next day. Uh, a, a box of uh, Genesis Impact from Yu-Gi-Oh! But I'm not going to open that. I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, let me turn down the music a little bit more. It's a little, little loud on my end. There we go. But yeah, it's been an insane day, man. Uh, I was again awoken because I couldn't sleep. <laughs> I think I woke up at like six, and sure enough, about nine nine thirty, they started pounding on the uh, on the roof. It wasn't fun at all. So I was putting off trying to do the show because I mean I usually don't do the show until one anyway. So it kind of worked out. So I'm like, okay, cool. Okay, they're taking a break now. So let me try and sneak in a show. And if they, I, I doubt they'll just leave i don't know who maybe they will but if they just decide up oh, we're done for the day and they leave then sure we'll make the show go a little bit longer um but i was trying to keep myself busy in that time frame so i put a whole bunch of stuff on the store link in the description if y'all actually want to buy physical cards <laughs> uh, i can't complain man the last week and a half has been really good for the store we've been getting a lot of orders uh not only uh, locally but internationally too so lots of international orders. Got, of course, people from Canada. What was the, what was the latest ones? Let me see. Of course, Canada. Canada is always popular. Um, Australia. I oh yeah, that's right. We I sent a couple to the Netherlands, uh, for somebody who wanted Pokemon product, over in the Netherlands. I wonder who it was. You got your third copy of MST. Get out of here, Dan. Get out of here. I only had five hundred and fifty gems to try and get MST. And I, that's what, uh, 11 packs? So yeah, I didn't get it. <laughs> but that's good. MST is, is ridiculous. It's it's basically all the good stuff without any cost. <laughs> but of course you come in here and you interrupt me when I'm trying to talk about something. But yeah, I got some codes from some of the product that I opened. So we're going to redeem those now. And then of course I've got some mystery codes too. What is this? Let me take a look at this Galarian Mr. Mr. Rhyme thing. Let's see. 6 pn 4 m w z 9 b n t and j there he is shuffle dance 
Yeah, I saw somebody running a Mad Party um, deck the other day. It did pretty good. I actually took them to the brink, too, because they were getting annoyed. Because I kept taking out their their monsters in one shot. <laughs> but it was still pretty funny. Interesting deck. Let's play Dota. I've never played Dota. Ever. I have never played that game. Yeah, all those, all those, uh, I guess, what are those, those little uh, kind of uh, top-down view sort of uh, games, like League of Legends and stuff? I've never played any of those. So I have no idea. Mad Party is one of your favorite decks. Yeah, it's a, it's a solid deck. It really is. It's a very solid deck because it takes a couple of turns to get going, but once you get it going, it can one-shot a lot of huge monsters. I think by the end, I mean, I, I did eventually lose that match. But I didn't mind because the deck is so interesting. Um, but hit, I think at the very end to kill my last uh, Pokemon, he hit me for like 400 in one shot. And I was like, wow, <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty insane, man. That's a lot of damage. Let's see what else. Oh, there was something else I wanted to talk to you guys about. To those of you who actually buy uh, the physical product, XY Evolutions. And I know we, we XY Evolutions has kind of become a meme around here on this show uh, simply because I opened so many and I still have so many that I don't. Well, I've only got like four left, I think, but I've already told myself I'm not going to open those. But it's kind of become a meme. Um, in the real world, um, with physical uh, packs, those packs are selling still for $14 minimum. $14. And I opened a product, because like I said, I got I got a couple of uh, products in today. I opened a product today that had a pack of Fates Collide and XY Evolutions. And I really thought about it, and I was like, should I hold on to these packs? Because I can sell them, because they're just single packs. I mean, there's it's not like a box or anything. But still, $14. People are paying $14 for a pack. Sealed pack, obviously, of XY Evolutions. And again, we've opened these packs, you know, hundreds of them, literally. And I mean, yeah, there's some neat cards, but there's nothing in that set that's worth any more than, I think, $25. Seriously, it's a neat reprint set, but <laughs> I mean, who in the world would pay that much for them? Because apparently they're selling. Apparently they're selling really well because people are still paying that much money for them. I just don't know who it is. I guess maybe people because I think a lot of it are from people who buy for fourteen and then try to flip for eighteen, making that tiny little, you know, that sliver of profit there. It's just I, I just don't understand why people do it though. And so I'm thinking, you know, I bought this set and it happened to come with a pack of X Y Evolutions. Why not just try to put the Evolutions pack out there? If it sells, great. If it doesn't, I'll just open it. It's not a big deal. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it on the store. And I'm going to list it for like 14 or 15 bucks. Just as kind of an experiment. <laughs> to see if someone actually does it. <laughs> and if somebody buys it, sure, I'll stick it in an envelope and I'll send it to them. It's just, I, I still just think it's odd that people are paying that much for these cards. Can you trade Shining Fates with me? I'm currently not trading away my Shining Fates because there's still a few cards I'm trying to get. And 94, 4KQ. And again, these codes I just got today. I'm actually having to type in the physical codes because I have the physical cards here. Yeah, I only got three of them out of that uh, Mr. Mr. Mime set. Um, but other than that, uh, what else did I get here? Oh, Ultra Beast Code, Guardians Rising, Sun and Moon, Burning Shadows, Crimson Invasion, another Crimson Invasion, and an XY Steam Siege. Ugh. Wow. What am I looking for? Just various stuff in Shiny Fates. Uh, I think right now I'm looking for, let me see, what was it? What, did it, what was on my list for Shiny Fates? I think it was Pokey Kid. Let me see, where are you? Pretty much anything I don't have. Yeah, the alchemy. I mean, it's just a, it's just a various number of the shinies, and uh, a few others. Um, yeah, alchemy. Uh, the alchemy V. Let me see. Oh, actually, hold on. Let me take off the ones I. There we go. Yeah, a lot of the shinies really. 
Um, and I bet if I just go and start trading, I can probably get a good majority of these shinies because people just, you know, don't really care for them. They're neat, but other than that, they don't really care for them that much. Um, oh, yeah, we also want to get the Wooloo. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, we want to get the Wooloo. <laughs> yeah, we want to get the Wooloo. I want to get that Colossal just because it looks neat. Um, but, yeah, obviously the Reverse Rares I'm kind of just setting aside for now. But, yeah, it's, the, the hardest part is going to be getting the Shinies just because the, um, they, they're not in every pack, obviously. The Dittos, Ditto v -Man. I don't really care for those. The Ice Q is funny. <laughs> I still haven't gotten an Eternatus V. Still haven't gotten one of these. I'm not going to trade for it, though. I'll just wait till I get out of a pack, because I know I'm going to open at least 100 more of these packs. Yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Fro uh, links. Uh, Let's see what other thing am I kind of after. I think just the Pokey Kid is the one that I'm sort of kind of... I, I just want to get it because I know I use it in a few other decks, and it's just neat. That full art Pokey Kid is really neat looking. I did finally get Skyla. Oh, that Rillaboom looks nice too. I did finally get Skyla, and I did finally get the Pokey guy. So those were the two big ones that I was after. Uh, but now I want to go for the uh, the Pokey kid, wherever they are. Well, I thought I hold on. Where are you? Oh, that's right. That's trainer. Duh. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Pokey kid. Is it just one word? No, it's not. Yeah, this one. <laughs> that's just cute. <laughs> <laughs> she got her little Eevee outfit on. It looks like Eevee ate a little kid. <laughs> it's just weird looking. <clears throat> Look at that. Everybody's talking about dual links over in chat. Y'all are weird. Yeah, I got nothing. Out of my 11 boosters that I opened to dual links, I got nothing. I, I actually did get one of those Rick uh, cards. That was I, I got like three super rares, but... Obviously, the only thing I wanted out of that whole box was the MST, and I didn't get it, so now <laughs> I don't care. Uh, let's see. Somebody was asking about uh, somebody was asking about codes. Are they still here? No? Well, I guess they don't get codes then. I've noticed that. People are not patient at all, man. It's like they come in, hey, where's the codes? And if you don't provide a code like within a minute, they're gone. It's like, dude, just have a little patience, man. You know, I'm not going to just stop what I'm doing, you know, and then, yeah, it's, it's like, come on, man, just wait for a little lull in the action. The codes will happen. Just calm yourself. But apparently they left, so we're just going to enjoy these codes ourselves. Okay, that's not where I left off. Where did I leave off? There we go. We got ourselves a Mantine because we're awesome. Oh, oh, more Peko V. That has Grimmsnarl. I kind of want that. <laughs> I already have too many of these. Oh, there we go. I only had four Grimmsnarl or three Grimmsnarls. <clears throat> it's a new online trading card game. You trade the card for real money. You know, people do that even now in the online TCG here, like in Pokemon. People do that. They just, nobody really talks about it. Because it's one of those things where it's really frowned upon. It's, I don't think it's technically against their terms of service. Ooh, a, oh, another Volcanian. Oh my god, look at that. That is, ugh, I love that. Get so many cards with this. Such a good code. Okay, I'll let y'all have that code next time. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, they do that in this. I mean, think of it. You do it pretty much already as it is. Because you can go uh, to Poe Town or whatever and just you know, dish out a quarter or something and get some of the cards you want. Uh, I mean, it's already something that's happening. Ooh, Sp Shining Legend Special Collection. I'll let you all have that one. That's actually, I think that's two cards and a coin. I believe it's a Pikachu, a Raichu GX, and I forget what coin it is, but there's a coin. So it's like a three-piece set. That's actually a really good code. Oh my gosh. Okay, you all get that one. I'll get this one. Yeah, this is basically what it gives you. It gives you the Pikachu coin, uh, the rainbow Pikachu. Well, I mean rainbow as it, it has a, it has an actual rainbow in it, see? <laughs> and then you get uh, the Raichu GX. So there you go. There's your codes. You all wanted codes? You got codes. 
We'll do codes again in here in a little bit. Uh, I want to open these Shining Fates packs because I opened the physical Shining Fates packs and I'm not going to say what I got because I'm saving that for a video. I filmed it and that video will probably go up tomorrow uh, along with a couple of other um, videos that I have sitting in the queue. Let's see. Yeah, Champion's Path. Let me see what else. Oh, Detective Pikachu. Oh, that's right. I still have this Mewtwo Mayhem deck I need to give away. Steam Siege. I still have a Steam Siege code here. I haven't even filled yet. Yeah, five evolutions. Fates Glide. Oh, that's right. We gave away the Match Hamp deck. Yeah, Match Hamp deck uh, went away. <clears throat> well, let's see. Can we get our when we get the Pokey Kid out of a pack? I don't know. <laughs> you know, if I could develop an online trading card game, oh, Reverse Volcanian, I would do it to where you could actually use real money to buy cards. You have shinies I don't have? I'm sure you do. <laughs> the shinies are just kind of random. So that was a very basic pack. I guess the Volcanian sh um, reverse is okay. You want XY Steam Siege for your shinies? Really? Another Volcanian? Two packs, two Volcanians. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dartrix. Wow, two Dartrix in that pack. Talk about duplication, man. And another boss sword. So those three packs were pretty bunk. Wouldn't, isn't it weird? Two months ago, if I got a boss's order, people would have been like, dude, I want it. Now we don't care. <laughs> Nobody cares. Because <laughs> they give out boss's orders like it's nothing now. That's so weird. All right. Who's going first? Or I'm going to go to the versus ladder. I actually did finally get a little further in my verses. Um, yeah, I finally got the uh, Plasma Storm pack, which I opened and I didn't get anything good. Oh, actually, wait, I think I did. And then I got the, the Lugia GX. <laughs> oh my God. I don't think you'll, I don't think it's loud enough to where you can hear it. But that crew outside, the work crew, they are blasting the Spanish music now. Like, I can clearly hear it inside my apartment now. <laughs> it's like, come on, guys. People live here, man. I mean, I get that they got to work. But some of us live here. <laughs> and it's not because it's Spanish music. Don't think that. It's not. It's just that it's really loud. And I'm here trying to do a show. Ugh. I should just go put my giant speakers up against the window and just blast Megadeth. Be like, oh, you all want music? Here's some music. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I got the uh, I got the Lugia GX. <laughs> Sing the words. I don't know the words to that song. But now I'm on on stage two, I guess, or the second, the two star part, where the the rewards start getting a little more serious, which is good, I guess. I don't know if I have the patience to get two thousand. I really don't. Because what is it? You get like 15 for every win? Something like that. So it would take forever to get there. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's more than 15. Because I know the last win I got, it only gave me 15. Yeah, that's all I got. And then I actually got a loss, but it gave me two for the loss. <laughs> so I guess that's good. But who wants to go first? Come on, who wants to go first? I challenge any of you to a standard match. If not, then I'm going to do verses. I don't really want to do verses right now, but yeah, because I got a win streak of three. <laughs> but, uh, wow, nobody, huh? I'm just going to have to send out a random challenge. Hold on. And if you're new to the stream and you want to add me, my end game name is the same as the name on the channel. Dreyam Sam, Fricante, Garrick, Phoenix, Ricardo, Zavi, and Yaro. Where's Toshiba? He's usually here. Maybe he's at work. I mean, it is midday Monday, so people are at work. Uh, let me see. We're, Andrew, I have no idea where Andrew is. That's the other Andrew. Wooker, uh, where is Wooker? Oh, did you all hear about what happened to Wooker's account on Discord? That was a huge bummer. For some odd reason, they banned his main account on Discord. They just banned it. He can't access it anymore. And I was like, what happened? He's like, I have no idea. He's like, they wouldn't say. They just banned him. And 
now and then and then right after that he got into that little email tag where you have to talk back and forth trying to figure out what what's going on and of course they never tell him the reason why he got banned which is weird i mean i i mean if you're going to ban somebody at least give them the reason the exact reason why they caught the ban so then there's no question as to what the problem was um but yeah apparently they wouldn't tell him um, all they would say is that, yeah, sorry, we're, we're, we're banning you and that's it. Goodbye. And he said, yeah, this, the, the account is just, you know, can't get into it anymore. So he had to start a new one. So if you haven't seen it, he's already got a new account, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, he's already got a new account and his, the name for his new account is great. Have you seen his name? If you've not seen his name in the discord channel, you need to go see it. It's hilarious. I love it. It's Wooker 2 Electric Boogaloo. I'm not kidding. Go look right now. I yeah, I don't see him online right now, but that is his name. His name is Wooker Two Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> Greatest name in Discord history. <laughs> Dre gets it. Dre's like, dude, I know where that's from. <laughs> Only Dre and I are old enough to know where that's from. <laughs> Even Wilker's like, I have no clue what that means. Because he he put his original name in there, and as a joke, just to kind of give him a little ribbing, I renamed him, and he is now Wilker 2 Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> so there you go. So wow, really? Nobody wants to do a challenge? Nobody? Wow, man. Usually I'm having to beat y'all off with a stick, man. What's going on here? I won't even use one of my stronger decks. I won't use the Zacian deck. I'm not going to use that deck. I, in fact, I haven't used this deck in a while. I used it the other day, but besides that, I haven't really used it at all. Don't worry, man. I'm going to change Moni's name to Moni Cheeseburger. And then uh, Dre Dollitz to Detroit Dre. Everybody's in school. Well, not Wooker. I mean, for Wooker, it's like, what, 8 o'clock at night? What time is it where you are, Moni? Because I know it's the same time. Because <laughs> y'all are both from the same country. <laughs> but yeah, only the Americans are in school right now. Everybody in Europe should be out of school. Everybody in Australia is asleep. <laughs> but Aaron's like, no, nah, man, I don't, I don't want to do that. Because if not, what I'll probably end up doing is i'll just go to the deck manager 822 there you go see it's 822 in the evening over there it's already getting late wooker should definitely be unless he's doing his homework he might be doing his homework who knows here i'm actually going to do this create a new deck deck wizard standard let's go with uh i actually don't have a fairy deck i'll let it start me off with something and then i'll build a fairy deck Hmm. What's a good fairy? There are a handful of good fairies. Although I don't have very many. <laughs> Wiggly Tough. Oh, he's a stage one. Actually, I don't have very many fairies, do I? Where's... Hmm. Oh, wait, is Gardevoir... I think Gardevoir is psychic, right? Well, uh, in the game, I know she's both. So maybe she's over here. Could also just build a Mad Party deck, but that's kind of... That's cheating! Here we are. Here's Gardevoir. Let's see. How many Gardevoir Vs do I have? And what does she do, anyway? Here, I'll just go with that. Let's see what it builds me. Rookadee? What in the... Really? It gives me one Gardevoir V and a VMAX. This is a... Uh, what is with this deck? This is... Oh my gosh. Look at all these ones. This is... Ins you missed the codes. Mr. Cameron or Mrs. Cameron. I don't know which one you are. We do them like every 15, 20 minutes. And you missed them. And unfortunately, the people who come in here and ask for them, I tell them to wait a short moment and then they leave and then they miss the codes. And then they come back and they're like, hey, where are the codes? And I'm like, you missed them. And then they get angry and they downvote us and we're like, 
You know, what do you expect, man? <laughs> this deck is not very good. Well, I mean, I guess the, the Dew Blades in the Aegis Slash could work, but I feel like there are better Psychics than this. Like, why would it only give me a single Gardevoir? Why? I just don't get it. That seems so weird. Like, why would it even add these in? Is it, I mean, what's this flying taxi? Evolve from one turn, you put one per attack. See, I don't get that. They just kind of threw that in. What is that, Mr. Wandala? I'm trying to get somebody to challenge me. Nobody wants to challenge me. Everybody's like, no, nah, man, I'm good. I'm not going to go with that deck. That deck was terrible. <laughs> I keep trying to do it. Either a theme or a standard challenge. As soon as they hear that I want to do standard, people are like, ah, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Nobody likes standard. Everybody's like, no, man, we got to do expanded. I want expanded. Look, now that Cameron left, I'm going to do codes. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'm going to do a couple codes. There you go, Cameron. You're going to miss the codes now, man. <laughs> you scanned the QR code from the redeem thing on PC and it said good job. What what do you mean? I don't I don't understand what that means. You mean this? That little thing? It just says good job. <laughs> oh, look at that. We got a Porygon Z. Not the greatest Z, but it's, you know, it's a, it's a Porygon. Uh, Vicavolt. You see, yeah, that's what I'm saying. This little QR code right here. <laughs> Does it lead to say good job? Uh, a Cosmog. And a Galarian Pony. Ah, we'll do one more. Really? <laughs> Two Galarian Ponies? Okay, I guess we're getting a couple of ponies. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's probably just like a little test. It's like, hey, you did a good job. There, now you know how to scan these. So go, do, go, go scan more of these. But go buy our products first. All right. I'll leave these up here for a few more seconds, give you all a chance to grab them. <clears throat> but yeah, I still think it's pretty nice that guy sent me that Shining Fates box. Very nice of him. Definitely better than what I ordered. I mean, I didn't, I wouldn't mind getting the Mimikyu box. I would have been perfectly fine with it. But the fact that he sent me the uh, Shining Fates was even better. And it's actually a good thing that I gave him an opportunity to redeem himself because now he and I are on very good terms. And like I said earlier, he owns a card store. So I think if I need anything now, I can probably just hit him up and be like, hey, bro, uh, I got some cash. What do you got? <laughs> and he'll be like, oh, I got this. Yeah, because that's the, that's the whole thing. We've built rapport, you know. When you build rapport with somebody, they're much more likely to uh, want to continue doing business with you. So, yeah. Very nice. Well, since nobody's watching, I guess I'm going to go do verses. All right, here we go. Let's see. Yeah, I'm on the second stage, I guess. How many do I need? Let's see, 212, 270. Okay. Private Pokemon dealer. Well, it's always good to know people with stores. Like, I know a local guy, uh, the guy that owns Texas Toys. I've, t I've spoken to him several times. Um, but he's... How can I put it? Greedy. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it was... Uh, I mean, I can't really blame him. I understand he needs to make money and all that, but... Yeah, he... I mean, locally, the guy itself, he, he actually doesn't have a very good reputation here locally either. Like, uh, there was a story, and, and this was a story that was in the newspapers and everything... Um, he organized something called the Zombie Walk. Uh, I think back in like 2018 or something. It was supposed to, you know, be like this charitable thing where a bunch of people dressed up as uh, zombies, and um, 
you know, they go and they do this walk thing and people, you know, don donate money and the money goes to charity, right? Sounds like a good thing. Well, for some reason, um, it took like a year for him to take that donated money and actually give it to the charity that he was supposed to. Like almost like, I think it was like 11, nine, and it was like nine to 10 months, maybe 11 months had gone by. And the charity was like, yeah, we haven't gotten anything from this dude. And they started questioning. They started going to his store. And, of course, while he was at the store, he's like, dude, this is my store, man. And they're just like, still, man, what's going on? And finally, after you know, the story broke, and not only was it in the paper, it was on local news stations and stuff. And once the pressure started building there, then suddenly the money turns up and he donates it. Uh and I'm thinking that he was hoping that it would just kind of go away because I'm pretty sure he was just going to pocket that money. I don't remember exactly how much it was. It was a good amount, though. It was it was several thousand dollars. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I just I mean, I mean, like I said, I'll talk to him about cards and stuff. But deep down, I'm very suspicious of him. You know, it's just like, eh. Do I really want to trust this guy? You know, that sort of thing. So that's why I'll talk to him about cards. And occasionally if I go in there into a store and if he has like a good deal, I'll buy it. But it's very, very rare. It's very rare that uh, he actually has a good deal. So, yeah, it's uh, it's very interesting. But yeah, that's the guy that I that I I don't like. I said I don't know him, but we know of each other. And like I said, I just don't I just don't really trust him. <clears throat> but like I said, this other guy, who's uh, who I've been buying from, he's got a store up in Rochester, New York. That's where his store is. I forget the name of his store. It was on the box that he sent me, which I don't even remember what I did with the box. I've got like eight boxes here. I gotta go look through them. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but he has a store up there in New York. Uh, he seems like a decent enough dude, and like I said, I gave him a chance to redeem himself, and he came through. He came through with flying colors. I'm like, awesome. <clears throat> so so far, what have I got from him? I've gotten from him uh, two Sun and Moon trainer kits. Um, I had bought that Mimikyu box, but didn't get it, so he gave me the Shining Fates box instead. And then, like I said, I also got a Genesis Impact box from him that should be arriving here, uh, hopefully, either tomorrow or the next day. Hmm, I am tempted. I don't really need to use that right now, though. So let's let's do another Marnie. So I actually trust that guy out there much more than I trust the local guy. <laughs> because at least that guy came through. Hmm. Ooh, there's Rosa again. I'll take that. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, let's get rid of his Jirachi. <laughs> He's gonna put his Crobat in. Because the Crobat will live a little bit. I actually didn't want to put Intellion on this deck. This is the same deck that I was using Dreadnought V and Dreadnought VMAX, but I took that out. I took all that out and I rebuilt it because people were having fits with Altaria, like big time. Like they just could not handle Altaria. Like this one guy, he was just destroying me. But I was I managed to get Altaria out there. And uh, he, I basically, he only had like nine cards left in his deck got Altaria out there. He went on for like five more turns because he couldn't get past it. I didn't. I would not put anything else on my bench. He just couldn't get past it. He finally ended up scooping. He was ahead of me six to one. He only had like one more prize card left. <laughs> and I was able to, to just <laughs> beat him to it because he was going to deck out. He knew it too. He knew he was going to deck out because I had like 17 cards left and he only had like like nine and then he played a little bit longer and was like i can't do this <laughs> he was like i hate you i hate you and your altaria 
Hmm, let's see. What do we got here? Reveals their hand, huh? I'm kind of wondering, should I pop his backfield? I kind of want to pop his backfield. Although he has no energy right now. So yeah, let's just pop his Crobat. Let's see, what do you got? A Switch, one energy, and a Dragonite. Okay. What does this do? Okay. <clears throat> do you have any Rosa? I only have one Rosa. I only have one, and it's in this deck. Yeah, I, I, that's not for lack of trying either. I've been trying to get her in. Yeah. Oh, you're going to pull the Marnie on me, huh? Thank you. <laughs> My hand isn't terrible, but it could be better. So I don't mind the Marnie here. Just as long as I get one energy out of this. Okay, the bucket's fine. Oh, and I got the capture too. Nice. <clears throat> Ooh, he's going to bring his big boy in. Or he's going to try to bring his big boy in. I think the best thing I can do is just leave the crowbat alone now. Ah, there we go. And yeah, I'm just trying to get rid of this thing. Yeah, because that thing's going to start beating the crap out of me. i got to get rid of it. Hmm. Yeah, that thing's going to hurt. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. Okay, so Altaria is not going to work too well here. Um... No, what's fine? We can do Keldeo. Let's get our Lapras out. Nice. Hop. Give me that. So we got our Rod. We don't need Rod quite yet. Damn, he's going to kill my, my Intellion. Hmm. That stinks. I'll stick the ogre in there next. But I could put a ton of damage on him. I think. Bucket. We can hold the bucket, because I can't use an energy right now anyway. So we'll just put as much damage on it as we can. <clears throat> You might have to go get a Switch after pick and hurry about the new games. Those new games actually look okay. I mean, what is it? There's like three of them, right? One of them is a remake. Another is like a mobile type game. And then there's the, the, the open world one. The only one I'm interested in is, is the open world. That one I would not mind. Oh, you're going to Marnie again. This is, he'll, he'll actually help me if he Marnies. Please, Marnie. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, because I didn't really want Professor in my hand right now. For a while, it was really hard finding a Switch, though. I, the last time I went to Target, though, I looked, and they did actually have some. So I guess that means that the whole Switch thing is, you know, about them being out of stock. I guess that's over. he mess up I, I oh wow did he I think he screwed up oh there he goes okay for a second I thought he messed up <clears throat> he didn't he's gonna get his intellion on oh, Pokemon snap All right, Lapras, get out there. Hold on, let me see what do I got here. Four energies and an Intellion. 
No, she's not going to help me right now. I can actually put one of the Nessas back. Great ball. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to hold the Nessa for now. I don't really need it. Get rid of all that energy. Ooh, another Lapras. What are you going to bring in? This thing? Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, like I said, if they're at Target and Target, they don't sell above uh, MSRP. The regular Switch... Uh, was 300 and the switch light the i guess the one that doesn't come apart that's 200 so yeah at least the prices there are back to normal of course they don't have any ps5s or the new xbox but <laughs> there you go but i mean the switch is fine i guess especially if it's, if you're more of a casual kind of light gamer that's i mean it's fine cuz i figure that's kind of like to me the switch is kind of like a game, a game Boy on steroids. At least that's what it feels like. <laughs> it feels like a Game Boy on steroids, and that's fine. I mean, I don't. I mean, like, I still have one of my old Game Boys. Well, actually, I have two. I have the the original DS. Oh wow! Look at that. He he couldn't handle Altaria and Lapras. He couldn't do it. Oh my gosh! Why is this deck winning so much? <laughs> Sorry. I had to celebrate a little bit there. This deck is just, it's throwing people off. I don't understand it. I was a little worried here because, like I said, I recently rebuilt it. And there's some weird stuff in this deck. Here, I'll show it to you guys. Three Lapras, three Swablu, three Altaria. Yeah, I changed that. I used to only have three and two. Now I have three and three. I added this guy in there just to pull stuff from the... Uh, from the discard pile, Volcanian, I have no idea why he's in there. Uh, mostly because I don't have another Keldeo. Um, the one Orangaroo, yes. Two Keldeos, two Intellions. Again, I wasn't crazy about them, but I'm like, I gotta have something with a little oomph to it, you know? Something that can pop a little hard if I need it to. So that's why Intellion's there. And then as far as uh, the trainers go, look at this. Quick ball, capacious bucket, a yell horn. Yes, I'm really playing this. A yell horn, two evolution incense for the uh, Altaria, a rod, two switches, three pokey gear, two great ball, only one energy switch, one Rosa, and that's only because I only have one. I have no other Roses. It's the only one I got. Uh, one professors, two Marnies, only one. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, two Nessas. Wonder why they separated them like that. Two Nessas, a Sonia, two Bird Keepers, only one Bosses. I used to have two, took one out. Oh, I'm sorry, I used to have three, and I took one out. So now I have two Bosses. And then uh, I got our Hop. And then, of course, my Energies. I don't I mean, it's just, I think between Altaria and Lapras, this deck just really throws people off. I don't get it. <laughs> it to me, it seems like such a simple deck. I mean, there's nothing really super fancy about it. And even then... Like, like Kyogre, I guess he's okay. But like Volcanion, I mean, there's got to be something better than Volcanion. <laughs> Does anybody have any ideas? <laughs> What's better than Volcanion? Because I'm pretty sure I could do better than Volcanion. Now I'm, I'm curious. Volcanion has to be. I mean, he's not a terrible card. I just don't think he quite fits into this deck. Let me see. Um, let's see, water or colorless with an ability. Oh, that's right. I looked at these and there wasn't really anything amazing. I think the reason I put um, Volcanian in there was because he has good health for a basic. It's probably why I put him in there. And I didn't want to go overboard with. Oh, I'm not even looking at the right deck, am I? I'm not. <laughs> go back. There we go. It's like, I'm not looking at the right one. 
You have a favor to ask me? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm just kidding. What? What favor? I can't give you anything if that's what you're going to ask. I'm poor. Right now, I'm actually kind of poor. I've spent so much money on product the past week. I'm looking for some cards you can... Oh, well, if you just want to trade some cards, that's fine. Just uh, let us know what you're looking for. If I don't have them, maybe somebody else does. Wheezing with Blow Away Bomb. Uh, I know I've got some wheezing. I just don't know if I have that one. Neutralizing Gas. Detonation Surrender Now. Ugh, the only ones I have are locked to me. Yeah, sorry. I've got three, but yeah, they're, they're all locked to me. Darn, that stinks. What set is that? Let me double check. Cosmic Eclipse. And I don't have any Cosmic Eclipse packs, do I? Yeah, sorry, man. I don't have any. If I had additionals, I would definitely trade them, but yeah, unfortunately, even the ones I do have are locked. <laughs> sorry. Tapu Coco with flying something. I think I've only got like a handful of tapus. Flying flip? Is that the one you're looking for? The flying flip ability? Because like I've got six of these, so I'll trade two of these. I always like to stay at four, regardless of the of the card it is. Um, but yeah, I'll trade two of these if you need the flying flip ability, or not ability, but attack. Yeah, I'll trade two. In fact, I already have these marked for trade. You just need to? Sweet. Okay. Um, if you've not added me, uh, add me on the on the game. My in-game name is the same as the channel name. So yeah, I'll trade you a couple of these Cocos. But th these particular ones. <laughs> well, these others shouldn't even be marked. So yeah, I'll trade a couple of those. Tapu Lele. I haven't seen a lot of her. What do I need? Uh, besides stuff from Shining Fates? Uh, let me think. Well, I, I kind of... Thank you for the follow. I kind of want another Keldeo GX, but at the same time, I'm actually kind of happy with only running two. I think three in that deck that I have would be overkill. Um... The only other thing I can I can think of that I would need immediately for a deck would be like a Bolton, but that's way too much for those cards. I would not ask you to trade a Bolton for those two. Um, if you've got any Shinies from Shining Fates, I'll probably take some of those. Like, hey, do you have a Shiny Wulu? <laughs> shiny Wulu. Hello, Mr. Box. Don't have them? Oh, darn. <sighs> Let me think. Is there anything else that I want? Yeah, most of the stuff I want is from Shining Fates. Huh. Hmm. Are you giving away so at W codes? I don't know what those codes are. <laughs> Zavi, is this you? Is this you, Mr. Razor? Let me see. Hey, Shield. What's going on? We're uh, discussing trades right now. Is this is this you, Razor? I got. I I just want to be sure. That is you. Okay. Uh, oh wow. Let's see. What do you got? More Peko, Appleton, Clubopus, and dude, I'll totally take that. Sure. Let me unmark this real quick. There you go, sir. All good. In-game name is the same as the channel name. If you were looking to add me, which you're more than welcome to do. So we got your Cocos. And for those of you who just got here, um, Razor is looking for, what is it, the Wheezing with the Blow Away Bomb. Does anybody have that? Yeah, if anybody has that wheezing with blow away bomb, uh, Razor is actively looking for that. How many copies of that did you need? Let 
Would you have any ZACNV or ADP that you could trade? Unfortunately, I'm using those in a deck right now. So yeah, I can't do that. Well, actually, let me let me double check. Let me see. I think I've only got three Zacians, and all of them are in the deck. Let me double check here. I may have gotten another Zacian and not even realized it. Okay. Well, well here we go. Oh, that's right. I've got. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me have one, two, three, four. Five. Oh, I've actually got five. Okay. I, let me see. I want to hold on to at least four, so I might trade this one. But as you know, Zacian V is not cheap. He is not cheap, so you'd have to really offer up. Yeah, in fact, let me check his value right now. Let's see, Zacian. Which one is this one? Okay. Yeah, that particular one is going for, it looks like between two and two and a half Shining Fates packs for that particular one. So if you, I'll do this. Um, since I've got more than I thought I did, I'll trade this for two Shining Fates. If you need it and you have two Shining Fates, I'll take two Shining Fates for it. I have no use for Vivid Voltage, unfortunately. I've opened way too many of those packs. No use for Vivids. Plus, the the unfortunately, the value for Vivid really cratered. They're, they're really not worth very much right now. Like, I think it's something like... I think it's like something like three Vivid Voltage Packs equals uh, one Shining Fates. So you're not too far behind on value. But like I said, I just... I have no use for Vivid Voltage. I have no use for it. A vid voltage, I probably opened 150 of those packs. Got pretty much everything out of it that I wanted. So yeah. But yeah, I'll I'll trade that I'll trade this one. Again, if you've got two shining fates. That's really the only thing I'm looking for. There you go, Mr. Laka Luke. You <laughs> you are now added. <clears throat> no problem. Hey, if you if you do happen to get any shining fates, you know the offer will stand for a bit, but just a little bit because the pricing on these things changes all the time. It really does. Speaking of uh, pricing, how about something for free? How about some codes? Let's do some codes. All right, let's see what we got here. And again, guys, if you get a code, or if you've already gotten a code so far, be nice. Let other people get some codes too. We like to share. And believe me, there's there's no lack of codes here. <laughs> I've got plenty of codes, so you'll hopefully get at least something out of this. So don't be greedy. Be nice. Let's see what we got here. A Sobble. I think, I don't know exactly which one this one is. This one is either the one that's, it comes with Sobble, Score Bunny, and Grookey, or it's just a single Sobble card with a coin. I don't remember exactly which one it is. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, Charizard GX, usable guy. I've had way too many of those things. <laughs> uh, a Sil Valley. Yeah, these are mystery codes. That's why I'm not exactly sure what some of these. In case you guys have never seen my show, I get like a massive batch of mystery codes. Even I don't know what they are until I put them in. So yeah, that's why I'm like, oh, that's what that is. Uh, Typhlosion. And we'll do one more here, and we'll take a look at uh, public trade and a Blissey. So Sobble, Charizard, GX, Still Valley, Typhlosion, and Blissey. And again, share, guys. If you get uh, one or two codes, leave the others, please. We'll leave that up there for a second. And now we'll go check public trade. If you weren't able to get the codes immediately, you just hit rewind. And uh, if obviously, if they're still available, you can go ahead and grab them. Or if you like physical cards, link in the description to my card store. Yes, I actually have a card store and I do sell the physical cards. There's a link right there in trade or trade or <laughs> in chat if you want to uh, if you want to check that out. And right now I've got what over nine thousand cards listed, something like that. Let me double check. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Did anything else sell? Oh, yep, sure did. Right? Oh, wow. Almost 9,100 cards right now I have listed. I'm trying to hit 10,000. That's like my goal. 
but it takes time. <laughs> I've spent so much time listing cards, it's insane. Anyway, so let's go check out Public Trade real quick. See if there's anything amazing there. Or not. Public trade is is generally not very good. <laughs> hey, Phantom. What's going on, man? You missed a lot. Feromosa and Buzzwool. Pikachu and Zekrom. Cynthia and Caitlyn. Oh, no. Not for one of those. Uh-uh. Jirachi and Inteleon. Nah. Nah. Ooh, eight quick balls for a champion? No. <laughs> no. Huh. Jirachi. How much is this Jirachi going for? One and a half to two Shining Fates. So that's a little undercut. That's what I was thinking. How much is it worth there? Because I know at one point it was like eight or so uh, vivid voltage. So yeah, it's about two shining fades. Crobat. Oh look, they're still offering six vivid voltage for it. That's that I think is really the biggest reason to open vivid voltage right now. If you still want that Jirachi. I mean, it's still a very good card, so it makes sense to try and still get it. But I think I've traded. Gosh, I don't know, like eight or nine of these already. And that one I have just to look at it now. <laughs> Let's see, Vicavolt. Ugh, I don't need those. I'm going to start calling you Fan Thump. <laughs> isn't, isn't that the name of, of a Pokemon, Fan Thump? I thought it was. Do you have any tips for making successful trades on the public trade system? I tried to get rid of some old EX and GX Pokemon so that I can build a Zacian V deck myself, but I can't get trades. Sometimes all you can really do is just kind of go through the weeds. That's pretty much what we're doing right now. Uh, but unfortunately, as you'll see, uh, most of the trades are terrible. And that's just how it is. A lot of people always try to get a lot more for their cards and stuff than they're worth. That's just... I mean, every, that's but the thing about going through these is that every now and then, occasionally, you'll find a really good deal. One place that I would think, as far as working trade, you see how it has the times over here? How it says that this, this trade will end in one minute, and then as you go, it's like, it'll say two minutes, four minutes, six minutes. Generally, the ones that only have a few minutes left, those tend to be really bad trades. And that's the reason why they're getting ready to end, because nobody wants to take them. So what I sometimes do is I will purposely just scroll and scroll and scroll, or I'll focus I'll focus my trade a little more. Instead of just doing like a broad search like this, I'll search for certain cards or certain packs or something. And then what I'll do is I'll try to scroll down to till this says about eight hours. The reason being is because, of course, whenever you post a trade, it asks you how long do you want to leave your trade up there? Eight hours, 24 hours, or 48 hours. And the fresher trades, the ones that are at those particular points within the timeline, those trades tend to be a little bit better. And that's the reason why you don't see them down here is because they get snatched up really quickly. So I, again, it takes time. And if you want to kind of focus your search a little more, that's probably better. But as you're scrolling through this, like I said, try to get to the eight hour mark. Like say for instance, uh, let me see, let's put in Jirachi. Yeah, this will probably be a little small. <laughs> it also takes time for it to, to load too. But yeah, we'll let this load for a little bit. And this is gonna take a little while. But yeah, as they load, just ho hopefully you'll get to the point to where you're at about the eight hour mark, because that's generally where you're, gonna, where you're gonna see the best deals. And like I said, the reason why they're always around that area is because when somebody sees a good deal like that, they immediately take it. They don't wait. But yeah, that's what I would like. That's what I like to do. Always try to hang around the eight hour mark, the 24 hour mark, and the 48 hour mark. <clears throat> Unfortunately, Jirachi's not. Well, actually, there's a lot of trades for Jirachi. Let me see. What's another popular one? Uh, 
Eternatus. I completely spelled that wrong. Eternatus. <clears throat> okay, these are all out of order. <laughs> That's another reason why I don't like doing it like that, but oh well. But of course, you can always go. You can always go here and whittle stuff down. Like, okay, I only want shiny faith stuff. Uh, you can apply there. <clears throat> here, we'll get rid of uh, Eternatus there. Let's see. This will whittle down all the stuff for shining fates. There you go. So now you only get shining fates related stuff. And again, you can come down here, scroll down. Just let it. It takes a little while to load, but let it keep scrolling. And then try to get to that eight-hour mark, and that's where you'll start. In fact, the higher this number gets, the better the trade will be. Usually, usually. <laughs> I have to put that in there because it's not always the best, but it can help. <clears throat> what do I use to see how much the cards are being traded for? I'm glad you asked. There is a website called uh, ptcgoprices.com. Here, I'll share it with you guys. You can go there, and it will. It, it basically takes you to the first main screen. It's just a screen with a bunch of cards on it. And then what you can do is you can type in pretty much any card, any card there. And uh, just put it in there like you could uh, type in Crobat. And it will bring up usually the more popular results like Crobat Vs, Crobat V Maxes. Um, and it will give you an idea of the buy and sell of each of the cards. Um, and like, for instance, Crobat V from Shining Fates right now, it says for going is going for about five packs. Crobat V Max, seven packs. Crobat V from Darkness of Blaze, five to six packs. But there's also more stuff on that website that you gotta that you gotta take a look at. In fact, let me see if I can bring it up for y'all. We can do a quick little overview of it. Let me, let me grab something here real quick. Do do do. I've got to restart my music. There we go. Let's see. Browser. Do 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 do. <clears throat> you currently offer double v and hattering v for yeah the thing is the double that card isn't worth very much at all neither is the hattering v just because i mean the cards themselves i don't think are bad it's just they're so easy to get they're just so easy to get so it's it's really hard to it's really hard to uh kind of you know ask for that sort of thing because and this is the reason why I like dollar amounts. Whenever I look at values for cards, I always tend to look at dollar amounts. Like right now, just from memory, I can tell you Hattering V goes for four cents per card right now. Dub Wool goes for five cents a card right now. A pack of Vivid Voltage goes for 22 cents. So yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that kind of gives you an idea of... of the uh, the values and whatnot. Okay, this isn't gonna look pretty, but here, this is the website that we look at. <laughs> That's it right there. In fact, hold on, let me. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And of course you can see, well, this isn't a very good way to do this, is it? Refresh cache current, no, I don't like this. Let's try something different. Let me just do a screen capture. Yeah, I'm having to set this up on my own. <laughs> Give me a sec. Double can go for an uncommon? Pretty much. Yeah, because they're, like I said, they're so cheap right now. They're so easy to get. <clears throat> Hold on, guys. I almost got it. Okay, this looks better. Yeah, I'm just basically doing a, a screen capture here for you guys. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And uh, as you can see here, there's a web address right there. These are all the various different cards. And again, you can put pretty much any card name you want in there. Like, well, here you don't even need to see Bolton right there, Bolton V, that particular one. 
three to four, Shining Fates. Um, let me see, yeah, all kinds of different ones. The one that you were asking for earlier, ADP, that one's going for four to five Shining Fates. So it gives you an idea of the values of what people are, are asking for certain cards. And like I said, you can, you can either look this way, you can search by sets. Uh, like if you want to do just Shining Fates or just Vivid Voltage, you can do that. Or you can just type in a card name. That's what I was doing, like Jirachi. And it brings you up all the various Jirachis. See? Not only that, but it'll also give you stuff like this, like Jirachi Sleeves. Let me show you how much of those may trade for. But of course, the more popular ones are these two right here. The Dreamy Revelation and Stellar Wish. So you can go to... And again, this, I would say... These, these prices that you see here are these values. They're not set in stone, okay? But um, they g at least give you a, a decent idea of what the values are, of what people may be looking for. Another thing you need to kind of uh, take into account when you're seeing these prices is you'll see right down here, it says 27 selling, 29 buying. That gives you an idea of the trade activity that's happening in the game right now. So this is actually very good because it shows that there are just as many people selling as there are buying. So there's a lot of movement going on there, a lot of trading happening. Um, what you want to try and avoid or what you want to kind of, basically the lower these numbers get, the less likely that that value is going to be correct. Because like, if you look at this one right here, just to give you an idea, this particular Jirachi, it says zero selling to buying. And it shows here that it's valued at four Shining Fates. Now, is it really worth that? We don't know because we don't have any selling data to go on. So that's a little more hard to tell because, again, only zero, zero selling, two buying. Same thing with this one. Zero selling, one buying. Very, very small numbers here. So these are a little harder to figure out as far as values. These two are a little better because you have something to work with. If, you, if you've ever worked in finance, like I have, then these numbers make perfect sense to you. If not, it may seem a little weird, <laughs> but I promise you, when these numbers are generally about this level, that's very good. Same, well, this one kind of gives you a different idea too. Here you'll see 35 selling, 71 buying. Whenever the buying number is higher than the selling, that means the demand for this card is way high. It's much, much higher, meaning there are more buyers than there are sellers. So there's a good chance that this price is gonna go up. It may go from five to six packs. We just don't know. Depends on what those buyers are willing to offer for it. Same thing here, it's 49 selling, 63 buying. Good chance that may go up in value as well. Now, when those numbers are flipped, that's when you have to worry. If there are more sellers than buyers and you're trying to sell your card, that basically means you're not going to get very much for it. But if you're looking to buy when, say, say for instance, if 50 were selling and only two people were buying, chances are you're going to find a really good deal on somebody who's just trying to get rid of that card. So That's just kind of the, uh, the crash course of, <laughs> of how this works. The best thing you can do really just mess with the site, throw different cards in there, you know, see what uh, what the values are. Uh, like, what's another one? Uh, Intellion. Oops. Intel, there we go. There you go. Same thing here. Intellion, one to two. Like, here's an interesting one. 12 selling, one buying. The value of this card is going to continue to decline because nobody's looking for it right now. People are trying to get rid of it, but you've only got one person buying. So that's not good. At least it's not good for the sellers. This, pretty balanced. Eight selling, seven buying. Very balanced there. So pretty good. I'm sure I've thoroughly confused all of you now. So, uh... <laughs> so let's go back over here. I apologize. I'm not a great teacher. <laughs> Unless I've had, a, had, a, had time to develop like a real lesson plan, <laughs> then I'm not the best teacher. I should probably do that, though. I should make a video and be like, this is how it works. You know, it actually goes step by step, showing everybody. Oh, yeah, if you weren't here the other day, yay, I got my ball guy. <laughs> I finally pulled him over back. So ball guy is mine now. Wow. 
I didn't realize the Volcanium was worth that much, even for half a Shining Fates. Hmm. Actually, what's this? Wow, somebody really wants that Bunnelby. Too bad these extra cards are terrible. Ball guy scares you. <laughs> As an 18-year-old physics student, I've had much uh, worse real teachers. <laughs> I feel you on physics, man. And the weird thing is, is I actually don't really like math. I really don't. I've mentioned before that I hated college algebra because unfortunately in college, you, it's like a requirement for pretty much every degree out there. Even, even like I, when I was going to school, I was taking, I was an English major, an English major. And you're like, okay, an English major will probably never use mathematics or at least, you know, that level of mathematics in their career. But that's a requirement. You have to take college algebra. That's the minimum. <laughs> and I hated every second of it. But the irony of it is, is I love accounting. I love accounting. Just don't like algebra. <laughs> you give me an adding machine and a bunch of figures and stuff, I can go to town. But algebra, I just don't like. <laughs> Let's see, Manaphy for a Golurk. Eh. Do Pokemon marketing videos on your YouTube channel? <laughs> I could. But again, it's if, if I chose to do something like that, I would actually have to, to write a script for it. I wouldn't be able to just kind of go off the top of my head because especially when it comes to mathematics and accounting, like in my head, it sounds perfectly fine, which is why I can sit there with a pen and a piece of paper and work it all out and I'm fine. But when I'm trying to explain it, I get very scatterbrained, very scattered. Because there, I mean, with certain things, there's a lot of different stuff you have to look at. And when my scatterbrained mind just freaks out, I can only imagine that to other people, it just sounds stupid. It's like, what is this guy even talking about? <laughs> What does this mean? <laughs> I don't get it, man. Uh-oh. I don't know if you can hear them, but they're beating on the roof again. Oh, man. A Deuce die for six Darkness Ablaze. I don't think I really need anything else from Darkness Ablaze, though, do I? Yeah, the only thing in there was Crobat. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to pass that up. That's actually an interesting deal, though. Yeah, do you Sedai for six Darkness Ablaze. I think if I had multiples of this guy, I'd probably do it. Let's see, Bunnelby again. Ugh. Ball guy, Shiny Fates. Eh. Delmize V Max for two Shiny Fates. I don't think that's. Let me see, Delmize. Oh, D-H-E. I always forget the H there. Two and a half to three. Okay, so that's a little short. Mm. For two Rotoms and XY Evolutions. <laughs> Manaphy, Regirock. Another Crobat for four. How's my stock market going? I'm actually doing really well. Uh, my initial investment so far this year hasn't really been that much, but it's done really well. I think total my total investment uh, for the past six months is just under $800. And right now, my value, in fact, let me take a look. I can look at it right now. Uh, my total value of my portfolio for my Robinhood account, because I actually have several different accounts, but my Robinhood account is the one I play around with the most. That one's sitting at $1,054 right now, off an initial investment of $800. So basically, for the past six months or so, I've made about $250, which is pretty good, actually. <laughs> it's actually really, really good. But uh, I do feel bad for some people who are messing around with Dogecoin. Dogecoin just cratered. All those people who were like, Dogecoin to the moon. Man, they lost their shirts. They lost their shirts. They are in big trouble. I sincerely hope people didn't actually go and mortgage their homes and stuff to get into Dogecoin. Because, <laughs> yeah, that uh, it's not looking good right now. Not at all. Hmm. Ditto V. 
People are really wanting Quick Ball again, huh? <laughs> Why are you, he's offering 10 of these. <laughs> okay. New. No, not for that. But yeah, most, again, getting back to this, a lot of these trades are kind of, meh. Gosh, I hate it when they do this. I hate, who's this guy? You are a jackass. <laughs> I hate you for doing this. Because they know what they're doing. They they do it because it'll it'll say Shining Fates plus five more. They're like, oh, are they offering six packs? Nah. <laughs> oh, I hate that so much. A Bolton V. Which one is this one? Electrify. Oh, this is that one I was looking for. How much is this going for? Let's see, I gotta look at this. It's not going for as much. Three to three and a half. So yeah, it's a little one-sided. I'm not going to take that. Do you know what I could do with a full art Dialga GX or secret rare Gyarados? Um, unfortunately, those don't really go for very much. They'll probably just sit in your collection for a little bit. Because I know the Gyarados uh, EX. I've got several of those. And every now and then I'll find somebody who wants one, but it's very rare. Um, the only thing I could really think of is that maybe just kind of hold on to it and mark it for trade. Maybe somebody will, you know, want it from you at some point. Or maybe somebody in public will look for one. Because that's how I've gotten rid of mine. I think for a while I had like 30 plus of the uh, Gearanos uh, EX cards, I think. But I've slowly but surely traded those away. Yeah, it's one of those cards that it just, you know, it's not, it's usually not going to be like in public trade. It's just not. You'll, you'll find one maybe once in a blue moon. <laughs> once every couple of weeks, somebody will want one. But it's not, uh, it's not very, uh... huh. Three champions path for Alchemy VMAX. Uh, Alchemy VMAX isn't worth very much. Yeah, 10 selling, 0 buying. Actually, wait, hold on. Oh, this is the... Oh, that's right. This is Shiny Fates one. Tw oh, okay, never mind. 29 selling, 0 buying. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, this is somebody who's just really trying to get rid of that card. Um, but Yeah, that's really the only thing you can do with some of those cards is just kind of let them sit there in your uh, in your collection. Who knows, in a couple of months, maybe for some reason they'll suddenly go up in value or maybe somebody will build a deck and, uh, you know, other players will be like, oh my gosh, I got to build this, you know. That's what happened with, uh, what was it, the Togekiss deck? Somebody, uh, I, Wooker was telling me that somebody did a video. I think it was either on Alchemy or on Togekiss. Somebody did, one of the more popular uh, Pokemon YouTubers did a video and he built that deck and he played with it and apparently he did pretty well with it. And so suddenly, like the next couple of weeks after he posted that video, people were going tr crazy trying to get those cards because they all wanted to build the deck. So who knows? Maybe somebody will do something like that again and be like, look what I did with Gyarados EX or Dialga GX. And suddenly it's popular for like two weeks and then, you know, things simmer down. And uh, What is that? Oh my gosh. Not for Unified Minds. Again, what is the, ah, stop doing this? Kyogre. People really want that Kyogre. Oh, this is a different one. You know, I could probably trade this for these, open those packs, and probably get another one. <laughs> Think I should do it just for fun? I only have one copy of this guy, though. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. Okay. I thought this was, for some reason, I thought this was. Um, Vivid Voltage, this is not. This is Shining Fates. Okay, never mind. We're not going to do that. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Ten Darkness Ablaze. That's a little tempting. A little. But again, I just don't have anything that I need from that set. Uh, nah. 
Well, I think I'm kind of sick of going through this. <laughs> anybody want to do a match? <laughs> Seriously, anybody with a match? As much as I love the TCGO, it's probably not that easy for people without access to a bunch of codes to build a competent deck. Not necessarily true. There are some fairly easy decks out there to build that actually do okay. Um, one of the easier ones, I think, right now to put together is probably Mad Party. Mad Party, a lot of the cards are relatively inexpensive. And uh, if I remember correctly, a lot, of, a lot of them are just commons and uncommons. At least for the core, for the core cards. Um, in fact, here, we'll go look real quick. We can go... Yeah, let's search out Mad Party. Yeah, like these Bunnelbees, dirt cheap. They're just commons. Same thing with this uh, Dean. Actually, this is an uncommon, but still, not too hard to get. It's out of Darkness Ablaze. I'm pretty sure somebody will trade them. Uh, let me see here. Galarian, Mr. Rhyme, he's a rare, so he's a little harder to get. But still, not, not too bad. And then, of course, you got the Pulte guys. So these are uncommons as well. Show the ones I don't have. Yeah. And, of course, you got the other the other versions of them, Tea Break and that sort of stuff. So you could probably throw together a Mad Party deck, and it'll be okay. Especially, again, like I said, like these Bunnelbees are so easy to get. Yeah, of course, now you said, I don't do this format. Sorry, I don't have a deck that plays that format. You gotta send me uh, theme, expanded, or standard. <laughs> but yeah, if you were looking for an inexpensive deck that's fairly easy to put together, Mad Party might be a way to go. <laughs> you get your butt head to teed, like Mad Party expanded. I face Mad Party in standard, and even in standard, it's very strong. It's a very good deck. Oh gosh, let's see. I only really have one expanded deck that I use, <laughs> and that's the uh, the Eevee deck. Uh, here, I guess I'll use. Yeah, might as well use it. I, I that deck's pretty fun. But yeah, Mad Party's not that hard to to put together. Heck, if I have extra Mad Party stuff, I'll see if I can just kind of give it to you. Like you can give me just like trash commons, and I'll give you some some Mad Party stuff. Because I always, for some reason, I always manage to get more and more Mad Party stuff, and then somebody needs it. Like, I'll see it, like, in uh, in public, and somebody will want, like, a handful of Mad Party cards, and I'm like, all right, fine, I'll just trade them. And then I end up getting more. Oh, wow, you already got the mulligan, huh? Uh, here, you get out there, buddy. Ooh, you had to take two mulligans. Ouch. <clears> hmm. <throat> All right, let's see what we got here. Hmm. That's all I got for now. As much as I like this deck, I don't. I'm not really crazy about that particular card. I would probably much rather do something else. Cause what is it? Isn't um. Uh, what is it? What is the other that other ball where you discard one? Is it great ball? I don't remember. Cause there's so many different balls. I don't remember them all. <laughs> Get out there, buddy. Hmm. I'm gonna wait on that. Quick ball, thank you, Aaron. Yeah, I can never I can never remember what all the, the different balls really do. I think great ball is the one where you pick up the top seven cards in your deck and you choose a Pokemon from them. Quick ball that you do discard one, ultra ball you discard two. I I can never remember them all. I should make a I should make a ball deck and then put all the all the ball guy in there. <laughs> That'll be the whole deck. It'll just be dumb. <laughs> we'll do that. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's do this. Thank you, Cynthia. Oh, wow, that is a little better. There we go. Lapras. This is one of my favorite cards. He's just, he's been so good to me in so many decks. I mean, the Confuser and the Hydro Pump, and he's a basic with 130. He's such a good card. All things considered, I don't really use Confuse Ray as much as I used to. Now I've found that I can just pump him up, and there you go. Lucario! I'm trying to remember all the different balls now. Like some of the ones you don't see very much. Uh, like Cherish Ball has actually been popular lately. Uh, let's see, yeah, Cherish Ball has been popular lately. I'm trying to think what other ones there are. There's just so many of them. Hmm. Darn. That worked. Pokeball. <laughs> Pokeball, Cherish Ball, Luxury Ball, um, Nut Ball, Nest Ball, um, Heel Ball, Quick Ball. We already said Quick Ball. Um, Master Ball? I think it is. I'm, I'm fairly certain I've seen a card for Master Ball. Uh, I think it's an expanded, though. I don't remember where exactly. <laughs> no, Dre. No. No. No, Dre. Just no. This is a kid's show, Dre. <laughs> Throw a blah blah. Uh, I'm also trying to think of the ones that I've seen in, in uh, Sword and Shield. I had to think about that for a second. <laughs> I'm like, okay, he's gonna survive. Safari ball. I've I've never had one of those in Sword and Shield, but I think it is like the real deal. I did screw up there though. I forgot to do Blastoise because I'm I'm spending so much time talking about y'all and Pokeballs that I forgot to do Blastoise. <laughs> Boss Norlax. Hmm. What are we going to put out there now? But yeah, I think Safari Ball is in there. Love Ball, Lure Ball. Yeah, Love Ball and Lure Ball. Those sound terrible, though. <laughs> Ugh, this is not at all what I was hoping for. Ugh, this, so is, this is terrible, too. Actually, I could use this.
<clears throat> hey, Clay. Uh, what's going on? Guthma. <clears throat> yeah, we're just talking about balls right now. <laughs> Pokeballs. We're talking about the different Pokeballs. Because I'm sure there's one that we haven't, that there's that's out there that we haven't mentioned yet. You have this game now? Excellent. After this match, we'll do some codes. Because I know some of y'all are a little, uh, a little new. Dream ball, team rock. There's a team rocket ball? Never knew that. Oh, wait, hold on. We're going to do this. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have many options here. Yeah, never heard of Team Rocket Ball. Never seen that. Yes, Timer Ball. Yeah, timer ball. Ah, we got him too late. The only bad thing is now he's got an energy. All he has to do is put it on Garchomp. There you go. I've lost. Yeah, timer ball. I can't believe I didn't even think of timer ball. And I use timer ball all the time. Or did somebody mention that already? The old ball from the Celebi movie. I don't know if that's even... I've never, I've never seen a card for that one. I don't even know if that's like a, like an actual card. We're trying to think of ones that have actual cards. I mean, I'll look them up real quick. Dusk Ball. I've seen Dusk Ball. Oh, and Moon Ball. Is Moon Ball in the game? I don't even know. I think just putting Ball in here is not going to really give me the best results. Uh, there's Cherish Ball. Dive Ball. Great Ball. That's a great ball. Heavy ball. Oh, I have seen this one in Sword and Shield. Level ball. Nest ball. Regular Pokeball. Quick ball. Oh, Team Plasma ball. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> team Plasma ball. No problem. Timer ball, timer ball, ultra ball. There's more. I mean, there's. I mean, there's plenty I don't have. Lower ball, master. There's master ball right there. The one you were asking about earlier. Nest ball, net ball, regular pokeball, quick ball, quick ball, repeat ball, team aqua's great ball. <laughs> That's interesting. Team Magma is great. Oh, okay. So each team, it looks like, has their own specialty ball. That's interesting. Team Plasma Ball, Timer Ultra. I think that's. I think Ultra is the end of it. Yeah. Let's see here. Lure Ball, Great Ball. Yeah, I think that's all of them. At least all of them. Oh, look at that. Friend ball. Okay, I've never seen that one. Dual ball. Dive ball. Cherish ball. Beast ball. I've seen that one. Apple corn maker. Okay, so there you go. I've never seen the friend ball. The beast ball I have actually seen uh, in Sword and Shield. But yeah, the friend ball I had not seen. <laughs> Only a, singer, a single master ball. 
I think it's probably one of those cards that's a bit overpowered, or it's kind of, it was made for a certain period of time. Yeah, that is pretty strong. Search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, put it into your hand. Uh, shuffle your deck afterward. The reason why that's so strong is because it's an item. And you could, like, say, for instance, if you have, like, three of these in your hand, you could technically play every single one of them. Yeah, it's not, it's not a supporter card. So that's why this is so much stronger. Because there's a supporter card, the Pokey Kid, that does this exact same thing, but it's a supporter card. And you can only play one supporter per turn. So, yeah, the Pokey Kid is kind of the retrain of Master Ball. Neat looking card, though. Really neat looking card. What set is that? It looks like a diaper. <laughs> Look at the set symbol. Seriously, it looks like a diaper on it. <laughs> That's so silly. Hold on, I gotta see what set that is. It's a diaper set. Okay, let me see, where can I find it? Trainer Kid, Furious Fists. Here, oh, Plasma Blast. So that's where that's from. <laughs> I'm telling you, it looks like a diaper, though. It's so weird looking. Maxi's hidden ball trick. Free code's not for you. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Why do you want to be mean, man? Why do you want to play me like that? <laughs> uh, Raichu GX. There's a free code. Let's see what else we got here. <laughs> there we go, Wooloo. Wooloo makes an appearance. Yeah, I hadn't seen him here in a while. There's Wooloo. Uh, Dragonite. Eldegoss. And we'll do one more here. Oh, a Tapu Koko. I, you know, I think that's the one that was asked about earlier. I really, I think that's it. You know why? Because I'm going to check. It is. <laughs> it's the flying flip Tapu Koko from earlier. I'll trade it, though. I won't ask for much. If somebody actually really needs this card, I'll trade it. But I'll trade just one because I want to hold on to four, but I'll, I'll trade it. <laughs> there you go. The Tapu Koko. Oh, it's Ace Specs, so you can only have one in deck? Oh, okay. I did not know that. Now I do. <clears throat> Ooh. Sorry, I had to yawn there for a second. Okay, so what are we doing next? Uh, wow, I've already done a much longer show than I thought I would. I thought I was going to do like an hour show, <laughs> and already we're about to hit uh, one hour and 40 minutes. You're currently playing a Pokemon version on a GBA ROM hack? That's weird. <clears throat> Have you a shiny Charizard? Which version of shiny Charizard? And are you talking about like Sword and Shield or are you talking about in, um, in uh, the online game here? What about Deck Wizard Phantom? You like the Deck Wizard? I like the Deck Wizard too. <laughs> VMAX or basic. I don't really go after Charizard cards. I mean, they eventually find their way to me. But I'm not like a massive Charizard fan. Well, he does have a ton of cards. Gigantamax! You know what I found is that in Sword and Shield, his gi Gigantamax version just makes him fatter. <laughs> yeah, it gives him those little flame things on his back, but it just makes him look fatter. <laughs> battle? Uh, oh, okay, you're saying Deck Wizard Battle. A shiny Charizard V. You know what that means, right? Big money. <laughs> and a rainbow, Max. I got a, I got a, a rainbow fat Pikachu, and I wasn't even wanting it. 
Where are you? I'm coming here, Rainbow Fat Pikachu. Where did you go? Oh, wrong way. Oh, so many Pikachus. There you go. Yeah. I ended up pulling that. It was funny, too, because I pulled this, and then, like, like two packs later, I got another one of these. <laughs> I was like, what is the game trying to tell me? Moni's like, uh, maybe you should build a Pikachu deck. <laughs> Fat Charizard. Chungazard. <laughs> but nothing, nothing beats Surfing Pikachu. Nothing. <laughs> Best card in the game. <laughs> I kind of want to build a, like a like a dedicated Pikachu deck, but mm, mm. over two hundred packs don't pull a Rainbow Pikachu. Well, that's because for a while I was getting just mass vivid voltage packs. Like people for a while were just trading them like crazy, and they were wanting just like very basic cards, cards I had like. 15 copies of so i was like all right <laughs> and this was in public trade this was before shining fates came out and they were just trading them like mad and i was like all right <laughs> why not and so i was like might as well open them and i think at one point i think the most i had was like 106 just that i just gathered uh, i opened a lot more than that i opened like two or three hundred of them but i had like 106 and just one night not even on a stream or anything i was just like oh, screw it and i just started opening <laughs> just started opening them over and over and over Deck manager. All right, fine. We'll do deck manager, Phantom. But we're doing standard. We're not doing expanded. Expanded just makes just ridiculous decks. Yo, uh, wheezing. Somebody already asked that. Yeah, somebody actually came by no more than 30 minutes ago and asked for a wheezing with blow away bomb. And unfortunately, I do not have one that I can trade. The ones I have are locked. Apparently that card's getting really popular. <laughs> All right. I'll let you guys choose a basic Pokemon for me to use in this deck wizard battle. And it can only be just a basic. It can't be a V. It can't be a GX. It has to be just a regular old basic. Just pick one. It can be any basic Pokemon. Because if I pick one, then I'll pick one that I'm actually pretty good with. But if you pick one, then I have no idea. <laughs> You actually want me to use Absol? I just there. I mean, it can be any Pokemon. The thing is, sometimes it builds really great decks, other times it doesn't. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, Absol's not terrible. We'll use this one. All right. Yeah, we'll use this one here. Expanded makes it interesting. Eh, I don't fully agree with that. Ooh. Some of these combos are, ugh. This one's not bad. This one's not very good at all. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Here, I won't even look at the rest of this. I'm just gonna let it surprise me. There. Okay, Phantom. Again, has to be standard. <laughs> You're... Your initial choice can only be a basic. It can't be a V. Well, I know Vs are basics, but still. Just a regular basic. No Vs. No GXs. None of that. I didn't even get any GXs or Vs in the deck. <laughs> Bidoof. So send it whenever you're ready, Phantom. Yeah, for those of you who are new, uh, we do this occasionally, where we just let the, the deck builder build the deck for us, and then we go against each other. It's actually pretty fun. But to make it even more interesting, I always let... I, from, I used to pick my own Pokemon to start with. But uh, I had mentioned before on other shows that I'll usually pick something like Lapras or Altaria. And those cards I know how to use really well. But just to make it more interesting, I let you all pick it now. Just to kind of see how, how it works. Because obviously I'm not familiar at all with these cards. I actually have no idea what Obstacle's about. What is this? Uh, oh, actually, this isn't terrible. This actually worked out pretty well. What is this? <laughs> really? <laughs> I have two of these. 
this is good. That I can work with. This is nutty. I don't really want to do that, but <laughs> that's kind of weird. Oh, really? You got a... a Look at that, he gets a Zigzagoon. And of course I have no energy, none at all. Fairy charm. <laughs> Ultra Beast GX and EX. I don't have any fairies in this deck. I think this entire deck is... Oh, are you serious? Well, well, oh my gosh. I didn't even check what energy I have. Of course not. It gives me the bucket, but no, no, no water. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> oh, this is dumb. This is another thing that happens, though. Whenever you let it, the, the deck wizard build stuff for you, It'll sometimes give you cards like this that makes no sense in your deck. Like this, terrible. This makes no sense. I mean, it's a great card, just doesn't make sense in this deck at all. <laughs> it's just so dumb. All right, and I still don't have any energy. Yes. Oh, thank you. That actually worked really well. But that's all I got. <laughs> well, now I know that this is the energy it's doing. It's, it, I'm running dark, apparently. Clay discards. What? If I can get this guy out, this is actually going to get a little interesting. Oh, <laughs> discard the tufts. <laughs> That's actually not bad. <laughs> Considering what, well, it all depends what you're playing against. Any of those cards are item cards, put them into your hand. Oh, well, at least you'll get an energy out of this. Yeah, you just, yeah, you definitely want that energy so you can start chipping away. <laughs> Doink. <laughs> oh, resistance. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, this is bad. Okay, hold on. I gotta check his discard now. <laughs> that might actually help him. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. <laughs> Let me do that. Here, have, have the bath. You can get the bath back. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> yeah, that's a weird surprise box. <laughs> he's been the bath. There we go. It, it helps us. It helps him, actually, because he's got basics out there right now. So what, he takes 20 less damage, is it? Yeah, 20 less damage. Oh, after applying weakness. Ouch! Another 40 from your Obstagoon. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing because I'm just going to do this. <laughs> there. <laughs> Sorry. Doink. <laughs> he's he's going to play it again, though. Actually, he may not want to play it again. Well, no, he might. If he brings this in, yeah, he's going to play it again. <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. We just, we pick, well, I let you guys pick my card. Uh, I can't, I don't know if he, uh, uh, I don't know if anybody picks uh, picked Phantom's card. I didn't say anything to him. So I guess he just picked his own. Yeah, I really don't want to keep putting cards in my hand here. 
<clears throat> but see, we were able to make something out of this, even though you're doing horribly. <laughs> man, you are doing horribly, huh? Oh, man, do I want to save this? Oh, actually, well... Really? Another one of those? He's dying for energy over here. There you go. He's got his he's got his one colorless. I gotta get rid of that thing though. I gotta I gotta do the loop cannon. Bam! And I win. Yeah, you can't deal with this, buddy. Yeah. My win means your Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I found that kind of entertaining. If you said anything about what I commented, then I missed it. Oh. <laughs> that was okay. I, I was getting I was getting the same cards, a lot of the same cards though. Let's see. Yeah, I got all three. I didn't get I didn't draw any of my absolves. I got all three of the of the two cannons. I got all three of those. I got both of the surprise boxes. What is this? Four capacious buckets. Ugh. Oh, that's horrible. Four of those. You see, Bia? Yeah, that wasn't very good. Four Bias, four buckets. Wow, that's eight dead cards. Ugh. Oh, make that nine. Water memory. Wow. <laughs> that's stupid bath. <laughs> I kept giving you the bath. <laughs> I tried to make the best of the surprise box. <laughs> Especially when I saw that you were discarding. But yeah, this deck wasn't very good. This there's like a like I, I would say at least ten cards of this deck are most well, this is useless. This is useless. Uh energy retrieval, I guess, is okay. Water memory is useless. Yeah, those those was like nine cards in here that were just useless completely. That's pretty funny. All right, trash. And the reason I'm not really crazy about doing um, expanded with this is because the last few times I've done expanded, uh, I haven't. I've been making pretty much the exact same deck every single time, and it's annoying. <laughs> it's annoying because seriously, it's the exact same cards with maybe two or three different Pokemon. All right, we're going to do standard, though. We're going to do standard, though, Clay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll have to let you guys pick mine now, because that's the way I do mine. But for you, let's see, who do I want to give you? Oh, 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 oh. Do, you get Geodude. Get, a, get, get Geodude. Y your choice of Geodude. But it has to be the basic regular Geo dude. It can't be like any GXs or EXs or anything like that. <clears throat> Danier wants to battle as well. I think Danier asked earlier too. So I believe he's actually ahead. So sure we can do it. Danier, you gotta pick my you gotta pick my Pokemon though. Which one am I using? Again, it has to be just a regular basic. I'm going to keep doing this until you pick one. <clears throat> a little bit of a sound warning. Because apparently we're going to have to stay here until Danier answers me. And until then, we may become part of the... Mm -mm, not doing that. Come on, Daniel, where you at, man? No, I mean just a regular, regular basic. It can't be a, it can't be any team ups, can't be GXs or Vs or any of that. Just a regular, regular basic one. Come on, man.
Dan here. We're getting suspicious of you now, man. We're going to have to call the FBI on you. Look at that. Even Aaron said Badoof. Okay, let me see. Ooh, I don't have very many copies of Badoof. I've got exactly four, and I only have one version of him. Oh, he's colorless, so this would be interesting. Ooh, his second attack is terrible. <laughs> can you do Chin Chow? I can look at Chin Chow. Oh, I've got a lot more Chin Chow. Gentle slap. <laughs> okay, let's see. Which of these would be good? Scout. Switch one of your op opponent's Pokemon. Ooh. They're active. That could be interesting. We'll do this one. We'll see what that builds. Oh, my God. <laughs> Again. Look at only one copy of each of these. Oh, my gosh. This is terrible. This isn't so bad. But wait a minute. Where is he? Okay. This is... Uh, why did it... Okay. It chose Bidoof instead. Why did it... Hold on. That's not right. Yeah, I thought I changed it to Chin Chow. Hold on. Let's do this again. Okay. So deck manager. Create new. Deck wizard standard. We're going to do this one. That's slightly better. Okay, I'm not going to look at this again. I'm just going to save it. There we go. Okay, Danier, send away. We'll see how this goes. I don't, I'm not terribly excited about this one, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, he just realized he sent uh, expanded. <laughs> He's like, wait, no, not that one. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not really familiar with it. Well, I'm kind of familiar with that one card. What is it, like, Electrosis or something like that? I've seen that card before. So this one, this guy, Electros. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> Have you ever clicked pick random? Uh, I think I did a couple times. I could always do that still. But the thing is, I don't want it... The reason why I ask people to choose is because I don't want it to pick a V or a GX card. Hmm. Yeah. That, nothing. <laughs> I always think it's kind of fun just to kind of go back and play with the more basic stuff. Because now it's like virtually every deck, especially in Versus, every deck that you run into, uh, they've all got Vs and GXs and tag team cards and all this super powerful stuff, you know. It's always nice to kind of go back and, and just kind of do the old basic way. <laughs> no. Ooh. This is not so good. No, yeah, I have nothing.
you're actually doing much better than I am. It may not necessarily look like it because I've got this guy out there, but he's the only guy I have out there. And I don't I don't even know if I have any draw power here. That was kind of amazing. And the fact that I didn't have anything on my bench helped. And you're getting all that draw power. Ooh, you brought the dojo out again. Not that the stadium was helping either of us, but... <laughs> Ouch! That stung. Gosh, what am I gonna... Come on. I'm very close to losing. This is not good at all. Because I have nothing I can put on my bench. I'm gonna take this out. But there's a good chance he kills me next turn. I've only got 40 health. Yeah, there's a good chance he kills me. Pfft. Although I could have done that. Well, that, no, that's... Uh, oh, that's special conditions. That's weird. It says full heal, but it's only special conditions. He really wants that... Uh, let me see. Oh, he's got mud slap. Oh, but I'm weakness. Oh, no! I'm dead now. I've lost. See, that's what I was saying. He's doing really well, because I could not get anything going here. No bench. See, you won, man. <laughs> that Electros is nice, but when I couldn't get anything on my bench, ugh, <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> I lost. Oh, I'm so sad, but you know what's good? I like turtles. Mm -hmm. Who here likes turtles? I like turtles. <sighs> anyway, so yeah, <laughs> that was it. Okay, so Dan, you're be everybody's beaten me so far, right? Well, no, I think I got one win. I think I don't remember, but I think I'm done, man. I've been streaming for two hours, and I only meant to stream for one. So you all got bonus content out of me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm actually tired. Entire, well, th I'm just ha thankful that they didn't come back and start beating on my roof again. It's just, I'm so sick of that already. Um, but I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Again, if you all need cards, uh, you all can check out my card store. Link is in the description and in chat. Join us in Discord. If you haven't already, I'll link Discord here for you too. Where is Discord? There it is. Now, our all-star Wooker wasn't here today. I wonder if he's busy doing something but uh until next time guys i will do another show on wednesday about the same time until then be nice to each other eat a carrot and uh go watch star wars <laughs>